Uh, mostly cloudy and damp. Good morning to you. Uh, I hope your day is going well for you, wherever you might be. Yep, take a look outside and uh, your eyes aren't deceiving you. It does appear as though we're working our way into uh, some rain shower activity as we go through the afternoon. We are looking at some light rain right now at the airport and here at Radio Center. Downtown Midland is also reporting some light rain. Downtown Bay City, more of the same. 49 at the airport, 51 here, 49 degrees in Midland and uh, 50 degrees in downtown Bay City. We have a northeast wind, about 10 miles per hour. That is going to pick up a little bit as we move into the afternoon. And we could very easily see wind gusts of 30 miles per hour plus as we go into the later afternoon. Barometer is falling, 29.97. We have a low pressure system over Missouri, and that low has been moving into western sections of Illinois. Eventually, it's going to move through Indiana, uh, northernmost sections of Ohio, and then later on tonight, it'll take up residence over Lake Erie. So in the process, we are going to have rain showers, some of them heavy, as we go into the afternoon, don't be surprised if you walk outside tonight later on before the sun goes down and see upwards of three quarters of an inch of rain. Some of you will be getting more. And as we mentioned uh, yesterday, southwest Michigan, uh, we do anticipate some rainfall amounts of more than two inches as we go through the evening hours. The rain shower activity has moved into the southwest corner. We are looking at some heavy rain being reported in the Benton Harbor area, but for the most part, everybody else, it's just plain old rain. The rain is picking up in intensity along and south of the I-6996 corridor, and we will be seeing that heavier rain shower activity move up into the Great Lakes Bay area. Now, right now, the northern 25% of the lower peninsula and all of the UP are looking at cloudy skies and practically nothing at all as far as precipitation goes. But that doesn't mean that their temperatures are warmer. Uh, by any stretch, they're looking at at least the same. And then you get up into the UP. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 30s in the central and the western portions there. So clouds, shower activity, the heaviest amount will be in the southern half of the lower peninsula, 49 degrees is our projected high. Sun will set this evening at 841, rise tomorrow morning at 625. The shower activity will move out after sunset tonight. Uh, 44 is going to be our low temperature to record. And during the day tomorrow, we'll be a little bit warmer. That's because we'll see some cloud cover real early and then uh, becoming partly cloudy and then mostly sunny as we go through the day tomorrow. 55 is our projected high. We'll have a light north breeze because of a high-pressure system over Lake Superior. So what that means is cooler air filtering down uh, tomorrow night and into early Thursday morning. We're going to be looking at a low of right around 36 low-lying areas. It will drop down close to the freezing mark. And again, there will be a north and a northeast breeze as we go through the day tomorrow and into tomorrow night. And that east breeze will continue into Thursday. A mix of uh, sun and clouds as we go through the afternoon on Thursday. We'll start off with sun. 64 is our projected high for Thursday. Thursday night, 46. We'll have a lot of clouds around. And there will be a chance, pretty good chance of seeing some more shower activity because a low pressure system over eastern Kansas on Thursday night will be moving into Indiana by Friday. And that low is going to stay a little bit further south than what the low will do here over the next 12 to 18 hours. So we are looking for that low from eastern Kansas on Thursday night to move into Indiana by Friday and then uh, wind up on, on late Friday and early Saturday over eastern Virginia. So uh, that one is going to stay a little bit further south. What are we going to be looking at as we move into or close to the weekend? Well, Friday, there's going to be that chance of some showers around. But again, the bulk of the shower activity will be south of Michigan. We'll see 62 degrees for a high on Friday, 46 for a low on Friday night. 
Then on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, partly cloudy skies right now each and every day with temperatures on the weekend uh, in the 60s, probably 62, 63 on Saturday, 68 on Sunday. And then to start off the work week after Mother's Day, we're looking for our temperatures to be in the low to mid 70s. For the period of the 8th through the 12th, the above average on those temperatures, and that above average temperature trend will continue at least through the 16th of the month. Precipitation pattern, average at best. I think it'll actually be trending a little bit below average. Record high in this state is 87. That was set back in 1928 and tied in 1938. The record low, 28, set in 1986. A year ago, our high was 65. Our low was 50. We had about, uh, oh, not even not even a tenth of an inch of precipitation. For the month of uh, April, we only had about six one-hundredths of an inch of precipitation. Incidentally, today marks the day where uh, the last substantial snow occurred on record. That was four and a half inches of snow set in 1935. You have to go all the way down to the 20th of May before we see anything more in the way of snow, and that was two-tenths of an inch, and that was set back several years ago. So again, this is about it when it comes to a measurable amount of snow of an inch or more. And again, on this date back in 1935, four and a half inches of snow. So look at the weather. We'll take a look at the markets in a moment. But before we do that, we want to remind you, the weather forecast brought to you by the folks at Nutrien Ag Solutions. Nutrien Ag Solutions has the local expertise to recommend the corn, soybean, and other seed products that are the best fit for your field. Plus, unparalleled agronomic support with products and services to unlock yield potential and improve crop performance from planting to harvest. Ask about our financing options to help you get more from every acre and lead the field. Visit your local Nutrien Ag Solutions branch or go to NutrienAgSolutions.com. Say, do you want to unlock the secret to higher yields? If you're applying dry fertilizer, the key to better yield potential is Titan XC. Titan XC is a fertilizer biocatalyst that unlocks and releases the bound up nutrients in granular fertilizer, promoting better root uptake and plant growth. Drive performance this season and beyond. Release more nutrition. Expect better results with Titan XC. For more information, visit lpi.ag slash unlock or contact your Nutrient Ag Solutions crop consultant today. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Steiner Tractor Parts. New parts for old tractors made easy. 800-234-3280 or go to their website, steinertractor.com. We say good morning to Rick Hollister over at the Andersons. Rick, I hope you're having a good day so far. We are hanging in there, uh, enjoying the liquid sunshine today again, right? Boy, one more crack at it, huh? Yeah, you got it. Yep, markets are just uh, kind of consolidating, chopping sideways here, so not not a lot to talk about there. Uh, we got our crop conditions report and planning update last night from the uh, USDA, our normal Monday uh, evening reports. Showed us 14% planted on corn. That's about half a normal. Um, at least a five-year average. That's about half of what we've gotten done so far, and and we see this. You know, normally by May 10th, we're we're crowding that 50% planted on corn, and May 10th isn't too awful far away here, Terry. So, you know, the market's really sensitive to that. We're we're looking at weather here, and we're looking at weather in South America, and uh, there's just not enough good weather um, all put together at the same time here to to see these markets sell off and and so we get this consolidation right near the highs that we traded last week uh other commodities kind of in the same camp we had crude oil um lower yesterday sharply lower yesterday for a bit rallied back closed higher uh today just the opposite crude oil starts higher uh at the moment it's giving up it's down a couple bucks a barrel so you know all the commodities have been in a uh in a in a big uh, consolidation turmoil range here too uh, but but not in a big trend uh, in the short term at the moment. Other than the U.S. dollar's been uh, trading higher, that that actually hurts our export prospects. 
we kind of got excited last week that China might be buying more U.S. corn, and and with the lockdowns we're seeing there, it just doesn't seem like. And no follow through here for the last couple of weeks announced uh, China buying any corn. So, so I think the market is a little disappointed in that, but still, still some risk uh, weather premium into it. Uh, even today, corn started higher, and uh, at the moment we're down uh, five to seven cents. So it means started up uh, eight or ten, and now we're uh, down three or four. New crop down five. Uh, wheat at Chicago Board of Trade is down six after starting a few cents higher this morning too. So just real choppy trade here as we go. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned about corn, about half of what the five-year average is uh, nationwide uh, here in Michigan. We're one tenth of what we are in the five years. So yeah, as of right now, so. <laughs> Yep. There's a few Going places doing north. better than we are, but not much. Yeah, and it is the, the it's the extremes. It's the uh, too hot, too cold. Uh, you know the the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. We've got cold or dry weather and, and warm weather in the southwest. That drought seems to be spreading east, and and yet here in the northeast, uh, boy, if you didn't notice, Minnesota zero planted acres on corn, which is which is getting quite far behind for those folks there. And Minnesota is. Unlike maybe Michigan, Minnesota is a big state for corn production in the U.S. and absolute zero planted so far as of Saturday night. So I was really surprised uh, to see that. I think it was last year somebody called that to my attention. Uh, Minnesota, how much corn and how mm-hmm. much soybeans mm-hmm. they put in. And uh, they're nowhere. They're nowhere. Yeah, zero. Yes. So it's definitely a concern. We still have a weather premium here in the market. So just uh, it's just not enough to, you know, to fuel us into new highs. And uh, I think if we just had a little bit of, a little better uh, handle on the demand here for the rest of our old crop, uh, we would be seeing higher numbers. But it's just not forthcoming, Terry. So I don't know. Higher prices cure high prices, and we're losing the demand. Are we, that's the big question for the market. Are we already? Uh, turning off the demand spout uh, with these prices today. So where are we on the board right now? Yeah, at the moment in Hemlock uh, for old crop corn, we're 733. Uh, new crop at 680. Old crop soybeans at 1620. New crop beans for fall delivery at 1430. Red and white wheat, both the same for uh, new crop. Now we're, we're kind of pulling back our old crop bids. There's not much time left here. Uh, new crop, 944 and a half for red or white wheat. Next summer, uh, 955. We're ten, 10 cents better for next summer wheat delivery than we are this year. Might be something to take a look at. It sure is. Rick, you take care. Have a good day. All right. All right. Have a good one. I will. Rick Hollister over at the Andersons. To Oppenheimer, we go with Doug Klein. The market report is brought to you by the folks at Quality Roasting of Reese, offering competitive prices. Consistent prices for your soybeans. Give them a call for a quote today. And by Krizak's House Family Restaurant, 989-894-5531. If you've got to reserve some food for an event coming up, or you want to get a table and chairs for mom for Mother's Day, they're a great place to dine in. 989-894-5531, Krizak's House, corner of Cass in Michigan and Bay City's South Side. Doug? I got to ask you again, uh, with these uh, fuel prices and, and all that sort of stuff, <laughs> why why do you think we jumped so high so fast uh, when when we're looking at crude oil and some of these other things? Mm-hmm. I mean, crude oil was higher than what it is right now. Yep. And we didn't see that dramatic of a move. And now today, where are we at with wholesale gas? Are we about the same that Couple- we were? Couple cents lower, so three forty nine. So what do you think? Two four four fourteen. Okay. At the pump, I mean that's close. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I've had a lot of people ask me, and they say, "Well, when you get Doug Klein on, why don't you ask him?" I, you know, I think it's just billionaires throwing their weight around. You know, if, if you had hundred billion dollars and you decided that you were going to run the price of gas up, you pretty much could. Sure. You know, it used to be the case the Hunt brothers were the only ones that could, you know, run a run a commodity through the roof or through the floor. Um, that's just common. Yeah. It's just, you know, I can, I do. 
So we do. Well, and, and yeah, so they do. You know, uh, you know. sometimes you wonder if uh, uh, whoever it is in the know is uh, trying to force you to think twice about uh, gas running your vehicle or diesel running exactly your vehicle. Right. Uh, exactly maybe, right. just maybe, okay, mm -hmm. we should be pushing electric uh, a lot more. Yep. So we're just going to crack the price up so much that it's going to hurt so bad that everybody's right. going to be looking for an alternative. Right. And, and that makes perfect sense, but yeah, who knows? We're kind of played, we're kind of played, you know, in, in the communist countries, they just say, Hey, look, you're driving electric. See, and you know, in, in the United States, we're like, well, you'll, we'll let you make your own decision, but it's going to be painful if you disagree with us. So yeah. you make your own decisions. Ooh, who knows? <laughs> yeah, just remember election time is just around the corner. Yeah, that war is going to be settled just a little bit before that. Amazing how that Amazing works. Amazing how that's going to work. Yeah, they're, they're, but they, but they, it, Pelosi was over there. She probably got a few Bitcoin, you know. Yep. Just bring her back here and let's let's get things going. But yeah, <laughs> whatever. Whatever. <laughs> that's what I say, whatever. Way above my pay grade. So yeah. I'm just going to have a good day. <laughs> now, what are we back. looking at right now? Here's your numbers. The July corn is 7.95 and three quarters, down seven and three quarters. Uh, December corn is seven thirty six and a quarter down six, uh, and September of twenty three corn is six eighty and a half down eight and a quarter. Uh, July soybeans sixteen forty eight and three quarters up three and a half. November soybeans fourteen eighty seven and a quarter down three and a quarter, and November of twenty three soybeans fourteen oh seven up two and a quarter. July wheat is ten forty seven down eight and a half. Uh, November or December wheat is ten fifty two and a half down seven and a half, and then uh, July of twenty three wheat is ten oh five and a half down eight and a quarter. Crude oil is one oh three forty seven down a dollar seventy. Heating oil is four oh five and a half down fifteen cents. Gasoline is three forty nine and a half down one and a half cents. Natural gas eight twenty and three quarters up six and a half or sixty four cents. Uh, Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar gets you 128.42 at the border. That's down 36 ticks. Uh, the dollar gets you 130.02 yen. That's down 12 ticks. The euro is at 105.32. That's up 28 ticks. The dollar itself is at 103.35, down 39 ticks. Gold's at 1873.90. That's up $10.30. Silver's at 22.73, up 14.5 cents. And platinum's at nine fifty eight seventy. It's up twenty five dollars and ninety cents. You have a good day, Doug. Thank you. You too. You bet. Talk to you later, Doug Klein, over at Oppenheimer. While I've got him on the phone, Jerry Samalski, Bay Landscaping and Garden Center, joins us right now. Jerry, you know maybe this rain is going to be a little warmer than what we've been getting, but boy, everything is just exploding out there. I really wonder uh, what it would be like if the temperatures were about five degrees warmer than what they are right now? Terry, I think we have night and day difference in the growth that's occurring. Uh, just looking at, again, a lot of stuff we look at, we look at growing degree days in base 32. And today we're, we're scheduled to be at uh, 467, where last year we were at uh, 719. So you know, a little more than halfway to where we were last year already at this point. So it is colder. Things are going to happen. And, and on my lawn range, I'm not seeing things get really hot coming up the next 10 days, but more seasonable weather instead of below average. So I think that'll keep us on the even keel and slide us in. But if we pick up, you know, three, four, five days in the 70s and, and maybe even dip up to 80, uh, we're going to see stuff just explode and everything happen at once. So, uh, I mean, for Scythia, are still blooming. That's been a good year. They've been solid for about two, three weeks, which means we can start now looking at the crabgrass time for timing. It's good to get that down now. So uh, it's coming, but boy, are we just easing in, Terry, just easing in. I guess. Jerry, you take care. Have a good one. Yes, sir. All right. Jerry Samalski, Bay Landscaping and Garden Center in Essexville. Craig Voorhees joins us in a moment. Looking for a career where every day is different? Got a knack for working on farm equipment? We're looking to grow our team. Hudson, Inc., your local John Deere dealer, is responsible for keeping farmers of America running. Honest, dependable, and self-reliant mechanical technicians is who we are looking for. 
Hudson provides continuing education, tool allowances, and benefits. If you're interested in becoming a part of the Hudson team, go online and search Hudson Inc. Careers for more information. Have you seen the new 2022 Chevy Silverado pickup? Hi, I'm Steve Cook from the Cook Gym Superstore Ambassador. Not only is there a new grill and other exterior upgrades, but best of all is the new interior, including an all new, much larger touchscreen that customers have been asking for for years. And right now you can lease that all new 22 Silverado Crew Cab four wheel drive starting from 358. And don't forget that even as you've heard on the news that dealers around the country are gouging customers, leasing that same truck for as much as five or 600 a month at Cook Chevrolet Buick with your GM discount, it's only 358. And more good news is that at Cook's, the Chevy Blazer is still only $228 a month. And finally, we've got a large shipment of Chevy Equinoxes coming in for even less. Only at Cook Chevrolet Buick, M15 Top of the Hill Ambassador. Payments based on GM employee and family lease. $28.73 on Blazer, $29.12 on Silverado. Do it signing. Call or visit us online at cookchevybuick.com. Chevy, find new roads. We join Craig Voorhees with the Rummel Agency. Craig, good morning. How are you? Hey, good morning, Terry. I'm looking at uh, what a contractor once told me was a dry rain this morning. <laughs> what? You you wish it was dry? <laughs> well, I, I don't know what he meant by that, but he, he just called it. Don't worry, it's a dry rain. It won't hurt anything. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll take your word for it. Optimistic, yeah. optimistic. <laughs> That's what we got to be. So, what should we be talking about today, Craig? Well, Terry, it's not a fun topic, but it's such a critical tool to have in place for the financial health of your farm or any business for that matter, and that's life insurance. You know, it can be used in so many different ways. You can, you know, fund buy-sell agreements. You can use the money if you have to buy out uh, somebody's spouse or parent or a partner. It's just a really good, you know, financial tool to have in place in case somebody gets, you know, dies uh, quickly and unexpectedly or just takes, you know, their natural way out. But it's just really important. I can't stress that enough. Well, and the thing is, too, uh, life insurance really hasn't had uh, too much positive. Uh, there's always been other things that uh, folks have looked at as far as investing money, putting money into. And uh, life insurance seems to be a topic of conversation when it's like uh, throwing nickels down the uh, the well. <laughs> yeah, it can be seen that way. And I certainly understand that viewpoint. Um, but I've also seen the the benefits of having it. You know, when, when, some, when a family member from the farm does pass away and that money comes in and, and supports the buying out of that person. You know, it really takes the financial stress off of the other parties and and the farm itself. So, yeah, it's not fun to talk about, but, boy, it, it can really make uh, things easier for those of us left still here. Yep, something to think about. Craig, take care. Have a good day, all right? Thanks, Terry. You too. You bet. Craig Voorhees with the Rummel Agency. Let's find out what the markets are doing right now. Steve Anderson over at Baird joining me this morning. Steve, are they friendly today? They are very friendly today. We've got the Dow Jones Industrial Average ahead by 185 points right now, putting it at 33,247. Volumes, 352 million shares. The NASDAQ is ahead by 43 at 12,577. Volume is 366 million shares locally. Caterpillar 214.48 up 241. Deer 390.23 up nine. CMS 69.03 up 123. Dow 67.97 up 91. Dupont 65.77 down 13. Cortiva 57.16 down 18. GM 39.92 up 147. Trenzio 49.18 up 143. Walmart 153.84 up 184. Home Depot 308.28 up 131. Huntington Bank 13.52 up 26. And AT&T is ahead by 28 cents at $19.40 a share. You have a great day, Steve. We'll talk to you again. Thank you. Sounds great. All right. Steve Anderson over at Baird and Company. New Holland Workmaster tractors are in stock at Ellen's Equipment. Models are available from 65 to 120 horsepower and all include expanded visibility with seating for two. These tough, practical workhorses give you unmatched comfort with low cost of ownership. 
Check out the new Holland Workmaster inventory at Ellen's Equipment in McBain, Ithaca, or Beale City today. Or visit them at www.ellensequipment.com. We want to say congratulations to four young people in our area that received Greenstone Farm Credit Service Awards. 21 scholarships were given. Alexander Smith of Bayport, Lake and Russell of Munger, Madeline Laskowski of Bad Axe, all winners. Congratulations. We'll be back at 1230 with an update. Now we conclude our program with the playing of our national anthem. From the Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery Studios, WSGW.